Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel. So I recently did a video in 3D Code because I think it's an amazing piece of software. And a lot of you guys liked it, but made the comment, well, I uh, like 3D Code, but there are very, very few tutorials out there that are easy to understand. And if you were to take that on as a topic where you would do regular videos, the likelihood of you using it would go up. Well, why wouldn't I, right? I mean, I use it, I like it, so I'm definitely going to do that. And this is one of them, right? Enough chit-chat. So, uh, what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about aut Autopo, right? Or Autopo. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, what is that? Well, it's basically retopology automated, and it is amazing. So, um, in order to demonstrate that, uh, I'm going to jump into Maya first and grab a model, right? I'm going to bring it into uh, 3D Code. So, let's jump to Maya, Maya 2024, and we're simply going to go to the content browser right here. So, Windows, content browser, and we're going to look for something that is, let's say, organic, an animal or something like that, right? So, let's say this little dinosaur thing, all right? Double click on this guy, open it up. It's of course huge. I absolutely hate this color. Nothing to do with his tutorial. So I'm just gonna go and put up a little Lambert on it. And this is the guy that we want to uh, retopo. Now, it already has a fairly decent uh, topology. So we're gonna kind of destroy that. We're gonna go up to uh, mesh. We're gonna go to smooth. And let's bump that way up. Let's go to five, right? enter and uh, there you go it is now very 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 dense if i hit four for wireframe mode you can see how dense that is right okay now that is not very useful let's say in the game environment or whatnot but nevertheless we're going to export this guy we're going to get a file we're going to export selection and i'm going to give it a name and save it on my desktop and we'll call this dino i poly there you have it right Okay, let's save that out. Might take a second, considering that it's huge. Okay, everybody, well, as you can see, we're in 3D Code, and this is the typical opening menu. We're not going to use that right now, but we will in future videos, so just be aware that there are many, many options, right? And actually, the, um, the whole layout and, and uh, interface is actually quite intuitive, but we'll get into that in future videos, right? For now, we're going to click this uh, out of the way. We're going to go up to File. We're going to go to Import because we want to import something. And here you have a couple of options. And that's because there are different rooms in 3D Code. That's how that is set up. So if you want to bring in a model to, let's say, hand paint or uh, you know use smart materials, kind of something like uh, Substance Painter, that would be the one you would use. This one is more for, let's say, Mudbox uh, ZBrush kind of environment, so sculpting and whatnot. You can bring in an image as a mesh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna import something for Autopo. All right, we're gonna click on that, there we go. It's gonna ask us, where's our model? Well, it's on my desktop, and we call it Dino. So there you go, this guy right here is reading it. And it's bringing in this model for the uh, for the purpose of retopo. Keep that in mind, yeah. So, what is the poly count that we want? Well, let's go with I don't know, fifteen k. That should be fine, right? So then we got some uh, warnings and some other things going on here. It says, for example, if you want to have a very good uh, triangulation quality, then it might be better to uh, have your model uh, symmetrical. You don't have to, but if you have that option, then that would help, right? So uh, I'm just gonna leave this alone, and I think our model is uh, symmetrical. Triangulation quality, best quality. It might take a bit longer, but that's fine. Capture details. Well, it's going to be a low poly after all is said and done, so I don't want it to be 100%. Uh, 80% is fine. Hard surface, retopo, auto density, influence, and multiplier. We're going to leave all of that alone. Voxelize before uh, quadrangulation. Um, that's used for scanned meshes. We're not going to do that. Decimate if above our target number. Uh, leave that alone. I'm just going to leave it as it is and leave everything else alone, right? We're going to click on OK. 
and we'll give that a second. And this is all real time. I'm not going to speed things up so you have an idea of how long this took, which is not long at all, right? So this is the guy we want to work with. Now, as soon as you load in your model, because we chose the option Autopo, it's going to start a wizard. And it's going to say, paint with a tool to mark areas of higher polygon density. So you can uh, right click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. And here you indicate these areas where you want more detail. Let's say the eyes, uh, the ears, uh, that kind of thing. Couple of reasons, you might have more detail there. You also might have a situation where you want to have detailed rigging going on because the character and you want to have the ability to animate the mouth and so forth, right? Of course, we're gonna have the hands as well because there's simply a lot of detail going on there. And I'm gonna do this quickly. Of course, you would take your time and do it properly, but I don't want this to be a three hour video. So something like this, right? And something like this. And then of course you would have the feet. And it's quite intuitive because as soon as your brush is outside of the model, you can move the model. And as soon as it's hovering over it, it turns into a brush, yeah? Okay. So let's get this in here. Okay. Let's say that this is all done. And again, take your time, yeah? Okay. So now that we have that, we're gonna click on next. And then it's gonna say, well, listen, it's gonna try to make a proper edge flow for your new retopoed model, right? Uh, it's not always possible because of noisy details on the surface. Now you have the option to add strokes and I'm not going to do it, but if you now in this phase, uh, left click and drag, you will pull lines where you can kind of indicate where you want to have edges. I'm not going to do that because there's no need for it, but you can do that. And if you do that, it says, don't use strokes till you really need them because it will make the process much longer. And uh, don't cross stroke, which makes sense. Don't make too many and don't play stroke too close to each other. Okay, cool. We're not going to do any of that. I'm just going to click on next. Again, real time. Let's see how long this takes. And that was actually quite fast. Alrighty. Now, uh, what I want to do, because we have the new low poly projected inside the high poly, is I want to kind of move it out of the way, right? So we can see what's going on. So I'm going to jump to the modeling room and we're going to click on uh, where to go, where to go, where to go. Oh, there it is, free moving. Yeah. Which will give us the gizmo. We're going to take the gizmo and we're going to pull it out. And it did a pretty good job. Right, there's a little, little area on the tail there that would need to be adjusted. But other than that, it looks absolutely fine. And the cool thing is you can see that the density around the head is much higher as indicated uh, as well where the hands are. And then we have the feet and the tail. So yeah, that's how that works, guys. Um, yeah, one of the first videos in 3D uh, code, um, actually not the very first, but nevertheless, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I got questions from people saying, will this be instead of Maya? No, certainly not. Uh, I am using this for texturing purposes, so kind of like my uh, substance painter for uh, smart materials, painting and whatnot. I'm using it for Retopo and um, yeah, I will still be using Maya. I will still be using uh, ZBrush. I most likely will no longer be using Substance Painter, right? Now, that's it for me for this video. If you have any uh, requests for videos in 3D Code, please let me know in the comments and I'll happily oblige, right? That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.